top of the league, top European manager, billionaire owners, top European players. Where am I not some Man City? Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm giving you a preview of this evening's game against Manchester City. One which has been highly anticipated by the 6,000 Wolves fans going up to Manchester this evening and a wider audience as well. It's a good clash between the top two te well, top teams of the top two divisions uh, in England. It's a real test, our biggest test uh, in terms of coming up against a team who can actually play football. And it'll be interesting to see the team that Nuno puts out tonight as well because I think it's likely to be 11 changes. But if you look at the 11 changes that are going, going to be made, they're a much stronger team than if we'd have made 11 changes back last season. In terms of Man City, we know how they play. They're an amazing football team and I for one am looking forward to seeing a number of those players uh, with the possibility of Aguero scoring his record-breaking goal for Manchester City, which will make him the top scorer. But just in terms of their general play, I think it's a blueprint for Wolves as a whole football club, Manchester City, over the last 10 years or so, since their money, since their influx of these top quality players, it really is where we should be aiming to be with the money and the backing that we've got. And I'm sure that there'll be a little bit of a conversation between Jeff Shee and Shake. What's his name? In terms of the Wolves team, I think we're obviously going to see Will Norris in goal for John Ruddy. Uh, the back three could possibly stay the same, or we could be seeing Willie Bolly if he's fit, uh, Courtney Hawes if he's fit, and Ryan Bennett as well coming in to replace those three. Vinagre I think will come in at left back. Right back I think might stay the same, I think Doherty might have to play there because the under 23s played last night, and the young lad who played against Bristol in the last round I think played last night, so he won't be available. Midfield, I doubt that Neves will play. He looked a little bit tired on Saturday, so he might be rested. But then we've got Jack Price, who signed a new contract yesterday, coming in. And you've also got Alfred, who's proved himself to be a top quality player over the last few years. Then up top, I can imagine, I imagine that Bonatini and Jota will be rested. Costa might play. Cavaliero might play a part as well. We've also got Zyro who hasn't played many games recently. Brighton and Bakari who's been a little bit hit and miss over the last couple of games as well. So they've got the chance to prove themselves. And you think about that 11 on paper compared to the 11 that we'd have had last season. I think we've much, much improved in every area of the pitch. And the one dilemma that I've got this evening is which shirt to wear. This shirt I've worn for every away game that I've been to and I haven't yet seen Wolves losing it. Or should I be wearing a 1974 Wembley League Cup final against Man City uh, top? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also let me know about your predictions for the game. I've been called negative in my last couple of videos so I'm going to predict a 12-0 win for Wolves. So. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure you tune back in tomorrow morning for a review of the match. Hopefully a positive result. I'm just hoping that we, uh, we play as well as we have done in the last couple of games and don't disgrace ourselves because it could end up we've seen Man City smash seven past Stoke, five goals regularly at home. And don't forget Will Norris hasn't conceded a goal yet this season so that could work in our favour. I've also seen a couple of people in the comments down below saying... Do you even go to the games? If you follow my Snapchat, which is TomRaz456, I put up little videos and clips of the fans singing and stuff throughout the game. So if you're not able to go tonight, follow my Snapchat and you can feel some of the atmosphere through that. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.